Hello, fellow Virgos. Welcome to your November 1st to 15th general reading. Please keep in mind it is general. Um, not only for um, resonance. If this doesn't resonate with you, absolutely check your moon and your rising signs, but check them anyway. Those signs will give you a more well-rounded idea of what what's going to be coming to you in the next couple of weeks because it covers off the three major signs in your chart. Um, okay, I'd like to thank everyone for viewing, subscribing, liking, sharing, and a big thank you to all who donate to my channel. And as a way of giving back to those of you who do donate, I've decided to randomly choose someone every month, <coughs> excuse me, to um, gift with a one hour complimentary private reading. So good luck to everyone on that. And that's just my way of saying thank you. So getting on to the reading now, um, the cards are not laid out in any particular order other than the purple cards here. This is Spirit's Advice. This is the outcome if you follow Spirit's Advice. These two decks are the decks that are used for these cards. The bottom cards are your overall energy. Now you've got the Law of Attraction and you've got the Four of Pentacles. So let's get started. You have the Five of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Wands, and the King of Swords. Uh, right off the bat, what I'm, what I'm sensing with this reading or what I'm, I'm hearing is... This is about relation, a relationship, and it's a romance relationship, although the cards don't really, <laughs> there's not really anything in here to say it is, other than we've got the King of Swords here. Now, for me, this is someone coming in, and this is, This is a romantic. Now, this this would be the queen if you're a man watching this. So switch it up however you need to. If you're a female watching this, this is your king. Um, because we have the law of attraction card, it, it tells me that we need to be very careful with how, you know, how we think, how we feel, thought processes, those kinds of things. Five of Wands is all about petty squabbling, um, someone or something coming up against you in your endeavors. And if we let that affect us, if we let ourselves get pulled into that, it's going to affect the Law of Attraction. Knight of Pentacles. Pentacles are the slowest moving of all the uh, suits in the deck. The night is about movement, so slow movement. But there's, <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry, there's a reason for that. The reason things are moving so slowly forward for you, Virgo, is because you're in kind of a holding pattern, I'm going to say here. You're, you're waiting. You ju it's about divine timing, and you're having to wait for this guy. Three of Wands is all about um, its progression. You know, the, the Ace is about starting something, moving in a direction. The Two would be uh, working on it, nurturing it, trying to get it up off the ground. The Three means that you've done that. You've started something, you've put work into it, and you're waiting for it. You're just waiting, waiting, you know, as the car, as the, the book would say for that particular card, you're waiting for your ship to come in now. You've sent it out. You're waiting for it to come back to see what it comes back with. So again, waiting, waiting. You've done the work. You've put it out there. You're manifesting. You're waiting for the law of attraction to come into effect for you. But... The Four of Pentacles tells me that you're hanging on to it just a little too tightly. Some of you are hanging on to something else. You're hanging on to another relationship. If you want this, which is that very special someone for you, you're going to have to let go of this. Um, now, if it's just that you're hanging on to 
you know, you know this person. This person is already in your in your life or has been in your life. You know them. You're waiting for them to come to you. Um, stop dwelling on it in your mind. Uh, I feel that some of you are, you know, with the law of attraction here, you feel that you're manifesting this into reality, but the reality of it is with the law of attraction, if you're wanting someone to come into your world, what you need to do is put that out there. Not the particular person, though. Put it out there that you want that special someone. You want that special love. You want, you know, put out exactly what it is you want in a relationship, but don't put out that particular person because if that's not your twin flame or that's not your special someone, if there's someone that is for your highest good out there, the universe will bring that person to you if you're asking for that kind of person. If you're asking for a particular person, even though they aren't in your highest good, they're not the best person for you, that's what's coming into you. So just put out the fact that you want that ultimate relationship. You want the twin flame soul relationship to come in. And then walk away from it. Work on you. Work on getting on path, moving in the direction you're supposed to be moving in, to be in your life's purpose. Because constantly thinking about this twin flame or that special someone coming into your life, when you focus on that on a constant basis, you're, you, they're not in your life. So what you're focusing on is the lack of them being in your life. And that's what you'll, with the law of attraction, that's what you're drawing back to you is the lack of that relationship, the lack of that person. So if you've already put out there what you want, sit back, take a step back, let the universe do their work. Let, let spirit bring to you that very best person that they can. For some of you, it is a king of swords, which would be, uh, oh geez, my brain's gone blank. <laughs> um, oh brother, Libra, huh? Hmm. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I'm not positive. Oh, geez, that's totally left my mind. I'm going to say Libra. <laughs> uh, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius? Oh boy, I am so sorry. I've drawn a complete blank on that. Anyways, swords. I'm so sorry. If it is an air sign, if that is who you're you're thinking about that, that you think is for your highest good that you want in your life, then I guess that's who it is. But, like I said, no matter what, you still have to let the universe bring that. Let the universe, let spirit do the work. You put it out there. Now, Get out of your way. Get out of the universe's way. And let them bring it to you. And that's why it's so slow. It's also slow because it's all about divine timing. This person is going to come into your life. They are working their way back. But, you know, maybe they have work to do on themselves. Maybe they have healing to do. Maybe you do. Maybe you're in a relationship right now that you need to get out of before they can come back in. Maybe... <clears throat> You're in a relationship that you're holding on to so tightly that you're confusing spirit. Spirit does not is not sure which you want. So let go and let God. Let things unfold naturally. Okay, so spirit's advice. You've got two cards in both positions here. <clears throat> First one is change in direction. And I'll read that to you. It says, the changes you're experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and your guidance. You're protected now and in the future, so follow your path to the happy outcomes you desire. Like I said, follow your path. Follow your guidance. Follow your path. Move in the direction you're guided to and go for it. Read that to you, too. Your prayers and positive expectations have been heard and answered. We've been working with you on this situation since its genesis, and we continue to watch over you and everyone involved. Stay on your present path again. 
it will take you very far indeed. So, you are already on the path that you should be on. Work on that. Like I said, work on you. Work on healing yourself. Work on your life's purpose. Keep moving forward the way you are. And all of this, you'll be attracting. You'll be manifesting. It's all going to come for you. Now, the outcome, if you follow Spirit's advice and trustworthy guidance, I'll read that for you. You've received a wonderful idea as an answer to your prayers. This idea is real and trustworthy. You can safely move forward with it, knowing that you are with that we are with you every step of the way. Ask for and be open to receiving our support for anything that you need related to this idea. So, whatever this is, whatever this guidance is, it's like I said, follow it. Just keep moving forward. Follow the guidance that you're being given in in any and every matter and it takes your mind away from all of this and it will allow you to manifest that much faster your second card is fresh air and I'll read that one to you your body needs refreshment from from oxygenated air generated by grass trees plants and flowers spend time outside today as near to mother nature's cradle as possible open your curtains and windows to refresh your home as well now for me the message with this card here is their guidance they're trying to come through they're trying to give you messages and guidance in the direction you need to go in the best way to hear them is in nature Get out in nature. Go for a walk if you can. Be near water. If you can't be near water, get into the tub. Have a hot bath. Put some Epsom salts and sea salts in there. That will allow them to come through to bring the messages. They're trying to speak to you. They're trying to guide you. All of these cards from Spirit today tell me the same thing, that you're being divinely guided. You're being guided to what it is you're supposed to be who you're supposed to be with, the direction you're supposed to go in. Don't hold on so tightly. You could be holding on too tightly to your money. You could be holding on too tightly to a relationship that isn't the right one for you. You could be holding on to um, just something in your life that no longer serves a purpose. Let go of everything that no longer serves a purpose. Now that could be down to ornaments in your home clear your space keep only the things around you that you absolutely love people and things okay because that'll help raise your your vibration as well and your vibration needs to be at the same level as your special soulmate or twin flame soulmate that special someone that's on his or her way in um There's a reason. There's a waiting period here. And it might not be with you, but if you work on you and get your vibration level up there as high as you can, that's not going to hurt anything, (laughs) you know. And maybe it's your, your guy or your girl that's having to do the same thing. If it's a twin flame coming in, you working on you because it's a twin only helps your twin. You raise your vibration, you're helping to raise the vibration of your twin. So twofold it works both ways i want uh, that's everything i've got for you virgo i do want to let everyone know though i want to make you aware of something that is going to be going on on my website here hopefully by the 15th of uh, november i will be doing up more in-depth videos for all of you who are looking for a more affordable way of getting guidance And they will be pay-per-view videos, but they'll be very affordable. They'll be under $5 for those of you who need it uh, or those of you who want it. You don't have to need the uh, affordability. Anybody can purchase the pay-per-views. As well as I'm going to be putting up a 2018 year ahead reading for each and every sign. That one will be a little more than $5 because it takes me a lot longer to do it, and it is for an entire year. But the other pay-per-view videos, to make them affordable for you, it they are going to be under $5. Okay, so I hope that helps everyone. I hope it resonates. 
please check my, my website and I will be back on the 15th of November with another video. Until then.